Legend has it, the game is still loading. You only want to play Dead Cells, Peace, as Chat said. Alright, I'm back. Holy crap, was that host multiplayer, joint multiplayer? Hmm, cool. Single player. Let's check this fucking game out. Hell workers. Interesting. We stand by the spirit of fire. All right, armored walk. So how does this play? Is this going to be like Diablo or? We must make haste and find any survivors of the attack. Hell warders, your mission is to serve vengeance upon the demons and defend our nexus from destruction. The nexus must not shatter. Otherwise, the celestial of light will be unable to help us. Hmm. I have set up barriers around our defenses in order to alert us of the demons coming. My light crystals can show you where you can place your defenses. Place defenses. So that's one of those fucking nerd games. Combat phase, all right. So there is a little bit of frame rate. Bunch of demons. clear jeez got a little worried there guys unlocked an archer so basically this is like a fucking tower defense game now i can put archers here yes but the hope of humanity you have collected from the demons have strengthened my abilities and will now allow us to summon forth more allies from the nexus interesting I haven't played Dead Cells. I want to, guys. Um, really want to. Can I resurrect this dude? Nope. I do not have... Alright, let's just go. Prepare yourself. I sense demons approaching. Why does my shield breathe out fire? Does that hurt them? Oh, 
Oh shit, there's big ass demons now. Hulk Hogan on a play on a plane. Wow, that's cool. I've 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 seen Hogan in person before. I just haven't met him. Met him. Like I've 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 been at wrestling shows that he's been at, but I never personally met him because I didn't want to like bug him. <laughs> Start it. I think I could do it. Anyone play Ultimate 1001 with Jong? I've not. Can you imagine if you met him and he was as big as he was in the age? That would be fucking epic. To have met him at his prime. I was worried to, when I saw him in person last was uh, 2013 at TNA Lockdown when they were here in San Antonio. Um, he seemed pretty busy. He was also on crutches at the time because that was when he was getting like his back surgery done in 2013 and he just looked so like in pain but also busy and I was just working as an extra like they they flew us in to help out with uh you know ring crew and helping get supplies and stuff and basically just be like assistants the whole day to the ring crew and uh I wanted to say hi and shake his hand and introduce myself but one thing I learned is you, sometimes you don't want to interrupt, <laughs> you know, when you're when you're at some of those things if people are busy. You know, he was he was having to worry about running a show, <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. So I didn't want to bug bug too much. There's a comic fest, a comic con, celebrity fan fest, whatever, coming here in a month or two. They're gonna have Finn Balor, um, Jason Momoa, um, Becky Lynch, and Daniel Bryan, and I forgot who else. Wow, so that was kind of cool. I guess I survived the courtyard waves. Now it's the ballroom. Okay. Do I have... So this actually has... We stand by the spirit of fire. Multiplayer shit on it too. So I can actually join the multiplayer. I, I don't know if anybody would be playing it now because this is an early release code, but it's something that I'm going to check out for sure. Ooh, Conjurer. Water, the beacons of light you have collected in the courtyard, the Celestial tells me they can help us. Each beacon will grant you more of her strength. With my current powers, I can summon conjurers who can slow the onslaught of the demons. Uh, okay. 
Okay, let's start it. Go forth, Warder. Show them the might of humanity. I'm sure it costs good grip of money to get pictures with some of those celebrities. I know at some of the Comic Cons, it's like 40 bucks minimum to take a picture with somebody. I'm sure she's gonna have a really long fucking line. So, I don't think I'm gonna be going to it. But it was cool that they're, they're bringing that many big celebrities and stars to it. Oh, they're not coming over there. Cool. Holy shit. That's it for the wave. Let's build another one right here. Upgrade that guy. Upgrade that guy. That one. You know what? Screw it. We'll get. Oh, nope. Can't have it. Can't get here. See, the issue with the reason why celebrities charge is because they need a mere minimum guarantee. Um, they ask for minimum guarantees at these events in addition to what they get paid. And usually, um, the con will give them like half of the minimum guarantee and then the rest comes from appearance fees like uh like autographs and pictures so that's why they charge so much that's why they charge like 50. so like let's say you brought in a celebrity and his minimum guarantee was um ten thousand dollars you would you would give them five not including travel not including hotel and food accommodations if that's part of their deal and then the rest would come from their autograph sessions so you have to be able to tell them like if, if you're gonna get a big enough of attendance for them to be able to easily make five thousand dollars from from uh from crowds they'll do it so that's why celebrities charge at comic cons and stuff Now, YouTube can uh, YouTubers don't normally charge because a video game convention isn't like a Comic Con where you know celebrities are there asking for minimum guarantees. But at Game On Expo, they have actual like voice actors and stuff, or characters from like the Mortal Kombat franchises that did like the motion cap. Those people at those at Game On Expo, they ask for appearance fees. And they also take money for uh, for autographs and stuff. But every con I've been to, YouTubers don't charge um, to meet and greet or to autograph. There was an ugly rumor going around recently that game chasers are at, are charging people for their autographs, and they're not. I should know because I sit next to them at every convention we do together. So yeah, this is this is an interesting little game, I guess. I'm kind of digging it, to be completely honest. I like the whole, you know, set up your defenses and trying to kill these enemies type of thing that goes on. I'm digging it. Dang it, come here. 
These guys are just freaking killing my crystal over here. Oh, I can add people. I didn't know that. Wow. I didn't know I could do that. I totally thought I was just stuck with, with what I have. Now that's cool. This game does look interesting. Don't know if it's something you would play. Um, I'm into like tower defense games and shit like this. What find what I find interesting is the way that it looks. Like it's like a, um, I guess like a. Dark Souls, like Skyrim, Diablo type of thing, and I kind of, I kind of could sink my teeth into that pretty easily. Let me upgrade all these guys. Okay, that sounds good. Let's do one more round, one more phase of combat. So hopefully, I powered up my guys enough, and I like that you could freely roam. And help out because most defense games like this once the wave starts you just sit back and kind of watch all I got this one's like real time There's a lot of son of a bitches coming in there. Added some more ground troops, guys. Now you know, and knowing is half the battle, and the other half of the battle is, on the other hand, is violence. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, this was Hell Warders. Uh, I think it came out this week actually very interesting um it also has online play so you can host like an online match and stuff so definitely one that uh, caught my interest a little bit you know i think i think i could sink my teeth into some multiplayer on this so i might actually come back to this another day when i can do a multiplayer with some friends <laughs>